Happy Wednesday, everybody. I just finished the wad on Monday. Can you tell? Oh my God, metabolic conditioning month is here. And Wednesday is bringing you another one that is gonna be fast, it's gonna be taxing, and you're gonna be fitter when you finish it. So here's what we're doing for Wednesday. We are doing 15 push jerks, followed by 12 chest to bar pull-ups, and then finishing with nine sumo deadlift high pulls, five rounds. The weights for this are not very heavy, 95 and 65 for both the push jerk and the sumo deadlift high pull. So the coaches are gonna be focusing on two things during this wad. Number one is maintaining the push jerk throughout. It's gonna be faster and it's gonna be easier to do a push press, but that is not the intended stimulus of this wad. And just to distinguish between the two, a push jerk means that it's a dip, drive overhead, land with your knees bent. Push press, on the other hand, is dip, drive, knee stay straight. So we are going to be encouraging all the athletes to maintain the push jerk throughout. And this is a great opportunity for you to get a lot of reps in of a more complex lift because the weight is not quite so heavy. So let's keep focused on the push jerk for this one. The other thing that we're gonna be focusing on are those sumo deadlift high pulls. As the wad goes on, as you get more fatigued, it's gonna become even more important that you really use your hips to get the bar moving up off the floor. And so we're gonna be encouraging you to do that. With regard to the um, breaking things up into sets with the push jerks, it would be great if you can maintain them unbroken throughout. Um, with chest to bar pull-ups and the sumo deadlift high pulls, they'll probably be unbroken in the beginning of the wad, but then you may break them up into two sets a little bit later on. So have fun with this one. It's gonna get really grippy. So if you do decide to break things up into sets, make sure you wiggle your fingers and give your hands a little bit of a break as you're catching your breath. It's gonna be a fun one. See you on Wednesday.